that time again. Time for another DF Retro Play. I'm John Lindemann, and today I am joined by my good friend, Mark Triforce Duddleson from My Life in Gaming. Hey, that's right. And what are we playing today, Mark? Because it looks a little bit like some Mega Man X. <laughs> yeah, we're actually playing Maverick Hunter X on the PSP, or at least I am. You'll be playing the original Super Nintendo version. And, that's right. Uh, I've got a real PSP 3000 here, component video output. I uh, got plugged in, and uh, I'm actually using the OSSC today because uh, one of the firmwares in recent years added the pretty cool uh, PSP uh, full screen mode. So that's what you're that's right. seeing here. So the idea then was, you know, I love Mega Man X, and we were just talking about it recently and thought, you know what, that PSP version was actually pretty cool and somewhat underrated. So we thought we would apply the formula that we've used the past couple times and play these games side by side but this time i'm the one tackling the original retro version here over on the super nes which we'll get to in a moment after this introduction plays because well that's one of the new features of the psp version right yeah uh and th there's i remember there's like this uh i think uh before the events of the game event uh, where Sigma has, like, the most maniacal laugh ever. The battle may be over, but the war is just beginning. <laughs> is that the day of Sigma? Like, that yes, bonus episode? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I wish I had that on my PSP here, because it is extremely over the top. <laughs> All right, so here we go, though. We're both finally in the game. Oh, oh or oh, so I you think. About this. Or so you think. Okay, uh. so the, this stuff was introduced kind of in Mega Man... Well, I guess, no, Mega Man X even, the first one even has dialogue, as we'll see, so... Yeah, a little bit, but it's pretty limited. I mean, yeah. I think this is more similar to, like, stuff like X5 and X6, where it is. they it is. really wanted to emphasize, like, story and characters, and I gotta be honest, when it comes to Mega Man games... I'm like, I just want to get to the game. Yeah, I don't need you. so I'm much story and motivations and stuff. Although I will say in this, I think some of the dialogue can be pretty funny. So, All right. So to start with, I actually think uh, this PSP stage does a fantastic job at replicating the original look and feel, you know, with yeah. the background there. Like, it, I think it's a, a pretty faithful adaptation of this sort of design. I mean, it yeah, looks I mean, different, it's, obviously. It's but different. It's, yeah, but... You know, different in a, in a in a way that feels true to the spirit of the original. Now, uh, yeah. this this originally released at the tail end of 2005. Uh, I I bought it when I was still living in Japan. Actually, it came out as Irregular Hunter X. Irregular Hunter. What, a, what, what an what, awkward what, but awesome name. That's what the Mavericks are called in I know. Japanese. The Irregulars. <laughs> uh, and I loved this conversion at the time. It is sort of remake because I feel like. Uh, it's it's nice to see a PSP 2.5D style game, but running at a very smooth frame rate. Right. I mean, that's what we have here. We sort of do, but well, you know, there's well slow down right there. Uh, th there's definitely hold up slow a little, down hold when up, there's a lot up, of explosions and stuff. Wait for me. You're going too far ahead. Yep. Yep. Uh, but that's also true of Super NES, like right there, right? Yeah, okay, so I you wonder if the slowdown is actually in pretty similar locations. Uh, it is, and here's the weird thing. If you overclock your PSP, it does fix the slowdown. Mm. So you get rid of the slowdown entirely if you overclock. But clearly, based on the fact that you're seeing slowdown, you're playing on a stock PSP. Uh, without... Stock PSP, U UMD game, so yeah. But yeah. Yeah, lots of slowdown when the big B is exploding. But you know what? I I mean it's 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 always refreshing, I think, to play a 3D game with slowdown instead of just, yeah. you know drop frames. Drop frames. I agree. Uh, <laughs> so let for those unfamiliar, and I, I assume most people know, but the, the Mega Man series is pretty renowned for its side-scrolling action, right? And Mega Man X was their first shot at bringing this to a new audience on Super NES, and it's the first time that there was a generational leap for the series. Because mm -hmm. uh, as good as the NES games are, I think a lot of people felt they got a lo somewhat long in the tooth by their... Uh, by, you know, Mega Man 4 was the point where I think people started to lose interest, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I gotta say... I like I them mean, all, though. The, the NES ones are kind of my favorite, uh, and I, I actually like 
the kind of the second half of the NES, uh, whatever you would call a set of six games. Oh, I love those too. <laughs> Uh, because, uh, because, I mean, you know, they're, they're actually a, a fair bit easier than the first three. And if you're kind of just like, ah, oh, man, I just want to casually play a Mega Man game. You know, they're, they're a lot more kind of accessible for revisits, I would say. Yeah, I, I can see And, what you mean. uh, overall, I do like the original series more than, uh, the X games, but, you know, I, I I almost feel like this first X game is so legendary and so beloved that people to this day have never really given I would say like the the rest of the series of the X sequels and and uh, X or not uh, um uh just regular Mega Man Seven which came out after this yeah. Uh, I feel like people have, have, have not really given some of those games a fair shake because this game is so good. See, when I was first introduced, really, when I, 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 for, for whatever reason, during the NES's day, I did not know anyone who had the Mega Man game. So uh, when I, really? I... Yeah, I moved from Ohio to Delaware. When I moved to Delaware, I, I got several friends that had Super Nintendo. And they... Um, they rented Mega Man X, Mega Man X2, and Mega Man 7, like, all the time. And that was kind of, like, my introduction to Mega Man. So, I, since X2 was introduced to me so early on and all that, I've always felt like X2 is nearly as good as this first X game. And I feel sure. like that is not a popular opinion at all. No one seems to want to give X2 a second look because no, this I game, because mean. it's all about Mega Man X1, you know, that's, this game is so good. That yeah. Yeah. The rest of the series was very disadvantaged in perception. But by, by the way, if you haven't noticed, uh, the cartridge version I'm playing here is Rockman X. So yes. I'm using the Japanese version rather than the U.S. release. Uh, but they are, otherwise, they're pretty much the same, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm with you, though. I think the re the X series in general is is quite good. Yeah, uh, X, five six and six, five and six, less so. Five, five is okay. Six is not very good. And seven no. is also pretty no. weird. I've uh, not played eight, much seven. Eight, eight's pretty good. Eight, actually, yeah, X eight is all right. Um, I think we should start with the chill penguin. Yeah. So now I, I'm going to go ahead and skip this cutscene so yeah, I can please. get to the character select. So let, let's look uh, at the character select here first. So what do we got? So they they quite changed the look of it, and I actually like what they did there on PSP because you have sort of the 2D artwork there on the side mm -hmm. popping up. It's uh, kind of more of a ring layout instead of the traditional square uh, for these things. Yeah, you're right. Uh, also, yeah, it doesn't so... have this. Remember, the you can just turn on the map or the stage image or the oh. specification of the oh. of the enemy. See. So I agree that Chill Penguin go is going it. to be the the right place to start. Um, but uh, one thing I do know about this version, I, I don't remember a lot of the specifics of this version. Wait, before you get into that though, one thing to note. Look how similar the time it takes to get into the level is. That's actually pretty surprising. Which is amazing because this is a game running from the UMD, right? And it's yeah, basically absolutely. the same speed as Super NES. Yeah. Uh, which is, yeah. you know, I back in the day and still now, I think that was really impressive that they were able to do that. Loaded yeah, so quickly of course, from Of UMD. course, they're able to mask things behind the lengthy boss intro. But of course, but still on Super NES, it has that fade to black that lasts yeah. for a decent amount of time. And then it has a little animation as well, right? Yeah. So, but anyway, onward so to the I, stage. I do know that, you know, we're, we're, it's probably going to be hard to spot all the differences, but I, I do think there are like minor like layout changes. If, if yeah, I recall, the Sigma stages are more different. Um, but yeah, uh, I think you're right. I think they did. But make here's some here's the changes. bigger difference. You're you're actually going to be able to get the dash, which is other than the fact that oh, Chill Penguin isn't that right. hard. That's uh that's the biggest reason to start on Chill Penguin stage is to get I the forgot dash. Forgot about that on PSP. And, that's they moved all the containers. So that let me explain that real quick for again for those that maybe don't know. Uh, this X game was interesting because the, the traditional Mega Man games, you would beat a boss, you get their power up, and you can use their power up, right? But X also added these additional features, such as a dash, 
that uh, X could perform, and you did that by finding capital capsules with Doctor Light, I guess, that yeah. were le left behind for when X would be reactivated. And you find those in the levels, and they're usually hidden. And once you do that, you can then get that new power up. But for the PSP game, they they change the location of those, and some of it's a little odd because in Chill Penguin here, when I reach the top. You find your first Dr. Light capsule on Super Yeah, that Dance. one's not hidden at all. <laughs> no. And I think that's like an instructional one where it's like meant to tell mm. you like, hey, you're going to find these capsules. So look out for them. Wait, wait for me. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Because look right oh, here. Oh, see, yours is right there. It's right there. And there's nothing, you know, you have to get it. So, yeah. Exuyo yahari kite shimatta ga. I don't know. Dekireba mai ni wa heiwa na. No, I won't do that. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, not only are the capsules in different levels, but the locations are different. Uh, so I'm yeah. not sure how well I'm going to do trying to find uh, the capsule in this stage. Also, but it's not going to be the dash out. anyway. So this is another thing I love about Mega Man X is how when you get those power-ups, it actually alters his sprite. Yes. So now he has those boots, right? So the X sprite changes and becomes different. Uh, which would, of course, require more memory, which was something that probably would have been difficult to pull off on the NES. Yeah. Uh, I mean, feasible to a degree, of course, but like that that's one of the cool things about Mega Man X is the yeah. way it sort of evolves his look. Yeah. But I mean, uh, let's in, continue. Yeah. In, in Mega Man 6, of course, you've got like the, the power suit and stuff like that's that. That's true. That's true. But it's not it's not like a something that has... It's not like his look is entirely changed because yeah, you know, exactly. that's like a separate thing that you that you equip man so this um, is just uh the thing about Mega Man x is that i actually think that the psp game when you blow it up you can really see the limitations but when played on the original psp screen yeah. i think it's pretty convincing it looks really good yeah i agree okay here uh, we, this, here we got our suit. mech here my, my mech like proportionally looks smaller to me no wait Ooh, i don't know if i should have blown that up <laughs> if Oh, okay. wait. I think it's fine. Because I, I feel like, isn't there like a... How do you... Okay, here we go. Is this where my capsule is, maybe? Let's find out. Can you jump on top? Yeah, you can yeah, jump I'm on up top here. of that, too. Yeah, did they hide it up here? It's fine. No. You're right there at the edge. Mm, now I feel like I need to check underneath to make sure it's not here. But that's where we're supposed to go with the suit. Oh, the, the suit's waiting. <laughs> yeah, there's a, another one. A, a you know, that suit. was one thing that always kind of irritated me about... Uh, I don't think it's over there. Yeah, I don't think so. That's something that... Whoops. Uh, that always irritated me about X3. Is uh, that, if I recall, you had to get, like, licenses to use... Oh, oh some, my gosh, I forgot about that. You had to get licenses to use the mechs. Now, if I, I, I might be wrong, but I think there were a few different kinds of mechs. But, yeah, let's... So while we're talking X1 though, I think X1, um, another thing about this is that, so this PSP version would have been not, not actually the last release of X because there was also an iPhone version, mm. but, uh, did you know that there was a DOS version of this? Uh, until you told me the other day, no, <laughs> or I might've, but forgot about so, it. I knew about the PC version of X3. The DOS version of this actually included a controller. Oh, okay. So the idea was That's... that it would include a six-button pad, maybe, for use with PC games, which is uh, kind of a fun thing. Wow, I, I really like the, the texture work there on PSP. They did a great job with, with those uh, icy bricks and the fence in the background, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I, I noticed that when you entered uh, the boss room, you, you had not entered the boss room correctly. Oh, I forgot to jump. Yeah, I know. You forgot to jump. While charging. <laughs> Uh, so unfortunately I didn't find the item, but, uh, in my version of the game, now something I love about these cutscenes. Oh, yeah, I just, I didn't let myself get killed cause it was, uh, I had like low health. Let's redo that. Uh, almost every single boss intro X is like, Oh, you, you're a maverick you? now. Uh, yeah, I know. He, I don't think he said it here, but he's like, he's like shocked and appalled every time. <laughs> um, but Chill Penguin is relatively easy, even though I don't get the, uh, 
I don't I don't get the uh, the, the dash boots in this stage. But now you don't need them. Maybe for him. you remember better than I do. I actually am kind of drawing a blank here. Um, I there's I know that th on the PSP version there's a change to Flame Mammoth stage after you beat Chill Penguin. Does that apply to the Super Nintendo version? Oh, I don't remember. So I so, thought that was one reason that it was interesting to start with Chill Penguin, regardless. Yeah, let's let's find out. We'll we'll te we'll do Flame Ma Flame Mammoth next. Man, I really like the uh, the sort of 3D background there on on the PSP version. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's you know it's not just a flat a flat plane. I'm just trying to be. I, I, I could probably be doing this a lot more efficiently, but I'm yeah. trying to be careful here. <laughs> oh. Also, the the wall uh, dot, you know, grabbing onto the wall like this, it was another cool feature of Mega Man yeah, X that absolutely. was not in the original games, and they really went nuts with that. Mm -hmm. oh, no, and, and honestly, I, to this I got day... Killed? God, it's so... Oh, man. I'm, I'm not paying as close enough attention because I'm trying to talk and play, and it's... Uh, <laughs> that really messes with me. Uh... But, uh, you know, I, I don't, I, this was probably not the first game to do like the, uh, to do like the grab the wall and slide down. It's the first one that I think of, but that's like the standard now, right? Yeah, it you is. Know, I, I, w whether this game was the first to do that or not, I would say it's definitely the, uh, the game that popularized the wall grab. All right, so we're let's continue here with the next stage and see if Flame Mammoth stage actually changes. But of course, since I'm playing the Japanese version, he's actually Burning Nomander. <laughs> which, if you go around, look at these these names: so Icy Penguino instead of Chill yeah. Penguin. Penguin. We've got Launcher Octopuled instead of Launch Octopus. Armor armarge i guess uh, uh that here is uh, armored, armored armadillo. armadillo and then storm eagle eaglead the <laughs> eaglead all right spark mandriller i like this just spark mandrill here sting camellio yeah and then boomer coin <laughs> so, some they, of these remind know, me of they didn't know what to change that one to yeah all right let's uh, let's, let's get into the fire level and yep. see if it's changed yeah 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 so, uh, I, you know, the, some of those names, I mean, I, I'm sure that's just, you know, Japanese thinking some of those names yeah. sound cool in Japanese. Uh, wow, look, less the PSP cool. version finished loading faster. Did you see that? Wow, that's crazy. Okay, so I think I think it did work. It's snowy. Yeah, here, yeah. Look. I couldn't remember if that was in both versions or not. That but makes yeah, sense. So that this be... level becomes easier if you do Chill Penguin first. What makes that interesting, though, is that for the Super NES, they would have had to have uh, a different set of tiles, I guess, somewhat. I yeah, mean, it could just be yeah. a color a color uh, palette swap, though, I guess. That's probably what it is, actually. But still, that's actually a really cool bonus feature. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, they didn't do anything kind of complicated like that at all in, uh, in the uh, NES game. So that... Now, I to me, that really showcases how this game was really built to be a next generation showcase for the series, yeah. right? They wanted to push Absolutely. push it out in all the ways that they couldn't do before. All right, shall we get on that pit? Yeah, I've, I already went down. Sorry, oh. I didn't realize I was ahead of you. Um, now it, I have I can't tell if the PSP the... game is faster. It feels like you move a little faster, maybe. Maybe. I can't tell. Let's here. Let's oh, try something. Oh, good, here. good, good. I found it. I was a little oh, worried about this. I can't get that capsule. Is that, oh, it's hidden up there. Or I don't even know if it's a capsule in your version. Um, I, but look, there, the, there looks like there's something up there maybe that I could Yeah, fit, you probably have I, to have a weapon to break it, but I'm not yeah. sure which one. Once you come down from there, run all the way back to the left, and let's test the movement speed. Sure, sure. Of course, you know, it's also possible that the actual level scale could be different as well. Oh, uh, yeah, also true. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip his dialogue here. Uh, but this one's important for me to find because I know that on PSP, Flame Mammoth has the boots upgrade, which is what you got on uh, there it is. Chill Penguin or, or Icy Pinguigo. All right. Uh, so Yeah, this this is, this is I think, the game's signature. No, hold up. Now let's try this then on the count All of right. three. One, two, three, and then we go. So yep. one, two, three, go.
Well, oh, oh interesting. Just a... There's a little. Oh, I guess that's to make it easier for me to get up here for that upgrade. Yeah. Okay. So but can... it actually seemed possibly pretty similar. Yeah. Let's. Oh, let's move forward and get this guy. Okay, he's not there. I'm... Okay, he's in a different. Okay, so there are some level layout changes, like subtle, but they're there. Yeah. If you actually look. So now he, here, you're this guy up here on this platform. Uh, well, hang on. Actually, first go back to the platform below. I, I do have that guy up there. Okay. Um, okay. So I noticed that the uh, the we're, we're both pretty stuck to the center of the screen. Yeah. But it seems like you actually can see more vertical. So it almost seems like the PSP version is vertically cropped, but it also looks like this ice floor is much closer to the ground here. Oh, or at least one tile height closer to the ground. And see, you can go under that one, and I can't. The, oh, see this lower one? It's too low for me to go under. So I think huh. I think the stages might actually be vertically condensed to some extent. I wonder if that's just to suit the widescreen aspect ratio, and they didn't. That's want to what make, I'm thinking. They probably didn't want to make Mega Man too small on the screen, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so yeah, they're over, still working with a for pretty low here. resolution here. Yeah, it's 480 by 272 or something. Which is more than you're working with, but it still feels like you have more verticality. Whoa, dude, just go... Where are you going? I don't know. I, I, I you're feel supposed like to go to the right. might be something over here. Okay. Oh, well, never mind. Just... Yeah, just don't worry about that right it, now. It's it's not important. <laughs> oh, okay. there's a yeah. Don't worry about is it. Is that a heart about upgrade? About oh, you're going for it. Okay. I guess I'll go down for it. Oh, you forced my hand. <laughs> I mean, hey, hard to say no to an upgrade like that. Man, I, I I noticed that I'm getting a lot of. Uh, See, can I see how many? Oh, uh, yeah, I've got five lives. I, I'm getting like th this game seems pretty generous with extra life drops. Yeah, I know what you mean. All right. Here so, do you have an upgrade down there as well? Yeah, the hard upgrade. Yeah. yeah, I was down there. Nice. Whoa! Oh, the crushing pillar. It's always baffled me why the default uh, dash button in all of these games is either A or circle, because yeah. like you can't you can't hold a charge beam uh, while dashing if you do it that way. <laughs> uh, that that doesn't seem optimal to me. So if I'm not mistaken, I want to say that there were intentions to do more. Maverick Hunter yeah. X games, I think but they this apparently didn't sell well, from what I've heard. Yeah, I'm actually a little bit, I mean, PSP, I guess, but still. It's a little disappointing to, to know that. Yeah, I mean, the PSP, of course, did do very well in Japan. And it did, it did so. okay, you know, I mean, it did good in North America. Yeah, it, it took a number of years for, for the, the system to really get its its library where it needed to be, you know, it kind of now like I'd say RPG. the library is pretty excellent. Yeah. Like I, I actually, you know, I got a PSP near launch and I, I kind of had a falling out with it because I felt like it was trying too hard to be like, you know, portable PS2. It was trying to be the console right. experience on a handheld. And I felt like the, you know, for one, the analog nub and the, um, the nub, the, <laughs> the number of buttons in general, was just not suited to that experience. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, and I so I was just really frustrated by games like Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops, like feeling like they were trying to do something beyond what uh, what the what the what the PSP's form factor was suited for doing. Uh, but I, I finally got got back into it, you know, years later with a PSP 3000 when, you know, the, the library was really good and established and so many RPGs and, and lots of interesting and weird Japanese games yep. in general. Yeah, it, it really came into its own after a while, I'd say. Okay, this, this guy does uh, ground pounds here. Yeah, I hate the ground pounds. 
You know, my it looks like my life bars, I, I don't know if it actually translates to less health, but it looks like my enemy life bars at least look uh, less, uh, uh, less large than yours, which is uh, frustrating for you, I'm sure. They do. I can't, I can't tell, actually. They do seem to drain some. Oh, no. Come on, get up. Well, at least this game keeps giving me one ups. They got really big into this big warning sign in like the, the PlayStation era. Yeah, it reminds me actually of uh, Darius. Or mm. Darius. Okay, I died. Yeah, well, I died too. It's okay. I wish I had. I forget what Whoa. weapon. What weapon do you use against him? Do you remember? Uh, it might be Storm Eagle. Oh yeah, maybe. Get up! Get up! Does get he up. Uh, change the uh, the conveyor direction on yours as well? Yeah. Kind of like how these, ugh, how these uh, blobs look on PSP here. Oh yeah, they, they look they're, like slime from Dragon Quest. No. Yeah, I mean they're they they are like 2D objects, but I think they're they're pretty nicely shaded. I like how they look. Yeah, so, you know his, his health does go down pretty slowly, so I don't I don't know if it actually is uh, less health on my version. Woo, that's kind of close. Got him. Ah. I'm still working on him. You're doing good. You guys pattern down. Oh no. Oh come on. There we go. There we go. Yeah. We got him. He's down. You got a new weapon. So I'm pretty sure Chill Pingua is the one that his weakness is for, so that didn't gain us anything. I want to say Chill Penguin is strong to... Who? Spark Mandrill, maybe? We could try that. Let's try it. Yeah, seeing this again on PSP, though, they really... Man, I, I love the work they did on this. They clearly put a lot of effort into it. Oh, yeah. So try Spark Mandrill. Or wait, yep, what's his name? Go. What's his name? It's oh, just, it's Mar oh, Spark, Spark Mandriller. Mandriller. Yeah, I, I, I hit my... my uh, Mr. Mandriller. I, I hit quite a bit sooner than you, so this isn't going to be an accurate uh, no, 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 this time one, comparison. Exactly. Oh, his animation oh. seemed longer on PSP there. Yeah, actually, so that, you... So it seems I feel to be like variable. You, I think SNES yeah. was faster this time. So it seems to vary a little bit. I, you know, I gotta say, I really like the brighter look of this stage on PSP compared to yours. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, dreary in the original, and I'm doing terrible. Yeah, I'm not doing too... The thing about Mega Man so. is that if you let yourself fall out of the, uh, the loop of things, you start to just make mistake after mistake, mm. you know what I mean? It stacks. Yeah, I mean, I, I've actually got a little bit of practice because I... Uh, I finally started playing through Mega Man 11 last week. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't Mega believe it's taken me that this long. It's it's embarrassing uh, to get around to that, but uh, that's a fantastic game. Yeah, and you know, similarly, a 3D uh, or a polygon-based 2D Mega Man. You're right. This is a cool effect, by the way. On Super NES, I guess they use the the transparency effect mm -hmm. to do that, but it's a it's a neat trick. Because they had the dark stages, I guess, before on uh, NES. Yes, yep. But it just goes black. Yeah, it's just straight black, or it shows like stars. Remember? <laughs> so it, you know, but this time they actually had a way to do it. Yeah, this uh, it, it's um, they they're they're very fond of doing no, no, no. those. What? Oh, what I was just doing? I was just checking that. I, I have a habit of checking in, in Mega Man X games, like, like just just go down and just halfway down the the pit and check. 
Okay, I thought you were... Th oh, the, this uh -oh. little mid-boss thing. I, I don't I don't think this is going to go well for me. I don't have a lot of health. Me neither. Oh, that, that the, uh, the, the gloopy effect is really cool on Super Nintendo there. Isn't it? It's, it's pretty cool on PSP here as well, though. You know, this... Uh, you know, this one oh, I didn't... Died. I'm, I'm not going to be far behind you. I don't... Oh! Well, that was stupid. Oh. Right into oh, no. I lost all my lives. <laughs> oh. Uh, maybe let's do a different stage. Yeah, let's do a different level. Uh, let me... Well, I, I've got a lot of lives, so I'll just go ahead and escape. Yeah, let's, let's check out another level since, you know, it's not like we're here to beat the game or nothing. No, exactly. Which one would uh, you like to see? What are you see? feeling like here? <clears throat> We could do the octopus. Yeah, let's see what underwater looks like. Go. Oh, I started first. We'll see if I can still beat you. I oh, I, I, I hear my so. UMD spinning up. Those animations are pretty nice on the PSP. Yeah. Ooh, wow. this is a pretty nice background. Wow, I think that looks better Ooh, on PSP. Look at that uh the the waves in the foreground though like that is definitely some some blown up transparent images <laughs> textures yeah that yeah there is again made but, for a small screen right sure sure and you know i i know you kind of disagree with this but you know even though there is like some slowdown and uh you know frame drops and stuff i i i feel that because a portable screen has Oh, oh, I just jumped on those spikes. <laughs> I'll, wait, I'll wait for you. Uh, but I feel like because a portable screen, you know, objects move less distance per frame. Yeah. I kind of feel like slow down and frame drops and stuff is less problematic on a on a portable screen. But that, that's I, just I my opinion. I can see what you mean. Perhaps, yeah. This was not the only 60 FPS platform on PSP, thankfully. There were others. Oh, there's yes. Mega Man Powered Up. Yep. Uh, the Which two this actually has a demo for. The Prinny games, games, if you remember oh, those. Oh, look at, look at this. This looks really good, I think, that, that's a neat, that uh, that's a layer cool going effect. under the water. Yeah. That's a Super neat Nintendo idea. could do things like that. That was really common in Donkey Kong Country 2. Yeah. But that was that was a masterful trick from uh, Rare. Yeah. Not yeah. something that anybody could do. <laughs> yeah. Of course, both of both that and uh, what you're playing here are just, you know, stock NES hardware. There's no helper chip. Unlike X2. Oh, whoa, that was close. And there's Unlike no helper X chip in the PSP either. <laughs> I, well, no. But uh, but I'm saying like, you know, like Donkey Kong Country 2 and Mega oh, yeah. Man X. Like, oh, yeah, all, yeah. The th all the things those games pull off are just, that's pure Super Nintendo hardware. That's right. Um, I love that. Yeah, and, X2 uh, and X3 used the CX4 chip for those yep. wireframes, but otherwise. Okay. I'm not sure if they do. Do they do anything else with that? Like, can it possibly like, like a copy protection? <laughs> or like, I wonder if it helps with slowdown in any. I don't any think way. so. I don't think it does. Okay. I'm having a little little trouble with this mini boss. Have you fought this thing yet? Yeah, I, I finished it. I'm waiting. Yeah, it's, it's not going as smoothly for me as it as it should. I noticed that these arrows actually kind of curve on PSP here. Oh, yeah. I don't quite remember what it looks like on uh, Super okay, Nintendo. Okay, conti continue. All right, I got a little health. Yeah, I, I think they did a really nice job with, the, with the, the environments on this level on PSP. Yeah, it looks great. Not, 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 not to say it doesn't look fantastic on Super Nintendo there. Oh, either. yeah. It's just 2.5D stuff didn't always work out that well, right? And uh, actually, what's interesting is that this remake would have been released after X6, sorry, X7 and X8 on really? PS2. Really? Was that? No! Oh, yeah, I guess that sounds I fell right. into the spikes. Well, that Mega Man will give me oh. some death. Man, these fish are eating me alive. Yeah, they're oh. pretty nuts. Well, I just jumped onto the spikes as well. <laughs> I'm not Transparency. sure if our checkpoints are the same. No! Uh, oh, here, uh, I have to fight this thing. Oh, so interesting. So this thing on mine has this big, like, jaw that 
guards it, and your version does not have that. Yeah, you're right. It's quite a uh, redesigned enemy here. Wow, that's a... Okay, that's actually more difficult than I remembered. Okay, I lost. I lost at that stage. So well, we'll we'll try. We'll try another. Let's we'll try, try one more. You know, I'll I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and just escape the level now. Uh, you want to try the chameleon? Yeah, I bet his level looks pretty cool. Let's go. Let's see how this looks. The Sting uh, the chameleon. little sigma si symbol is really blurry. Uh, yeah. When it before it slides away for for the boss intros. Wow, I, I definitely started after uh, after you did there, and I my X teleport in just a little, just a hair before yours. So the PSP load times, like that's interesting. I even though there are like some cutscenes and stuff, it like mostly is only in the beginning of the game, yeah, like, before boss fights and stuff. There's there's actually less clutter in the way of the gameplay in this version than I kind of thought there would be revisiting it. Also, I it was going to be a lot more kind of... I know at least Mega plot, Man plot, X7 plot. has to load different areas. Like, you'll do one section of a map and then it oh, loads right. the next, right? So, like, this seems completely seamless on PSP. Basically, just like the Super NES game. Okay, go... Is, Are you going to go up this... or down? Okay, I think, you're going to try to go up. Uh, I th actually... Yeah, let's go up. Wait, wait, well, hold on a second though. Is there a reason for this? Because I want to like, say there's like a boss or a counter. Isn't appearing? this where the 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 Ryu Hadoken no. thing is? No, that's at the end. Oh, you mean to get it? To I think you have to like you have to get it at the end. But I I feel like if we fight this boss, there might not be any reason to do it. Actually, I don't remember. Um. Uh, I don't know. I, I could be wrong, but I feel like this is where where that is. But you have like you have to have all the other stuff or something. I forget what the requirements are. Hmm. I'm I'm not doing a good job of hitting this guy at all. There we go. He definitely takes some hits. Oh. Yeah, what what's going really on? Because he to, keeps like his head keeps runs. his head keeps smoking, uh, and then he like knocks it and it stops smoking. Is he like healing himself? Okay, finally got him. Oh, he... oh, here comes the capsule. But is it gonna actually get me anything? Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm getting the, the charge shot upgrade here. I feel like you kinda of like gotta keep the heat on this guy or else he like seems to recover a little bit. I'm 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 not sure. That's what it looked like he was doing on PSP. Like Just, he, he takes a lot of hits, doesn't he? Yeah, I, I don't think he has like a traditional life bar. There he goes. So I'll be curious if you actually oh, you do get a capsule. Which one is this? Is it the same? It's the body power up parts. Oh, I, oh, wait, uh, I think it might be just better defense. Oh, okay. It's, it is a. See, I, power I got upgrade upgrade charge damage. shot. Yeah, it's, it's. I think it's the same. Now, kind of the background here on mine kind of looks like a, a Sonic loop de loo. <laughs> All right. So I think we got we both got this now. Yep. Yeah. Well, I I have a I have a, a more powerful charge shot. I'm not sure if you have that. I think I think this is that's what it is. Yeah. It said the damage oh. dealt is increased. Okay. Nice. This uh this area well, maybe looks it, maybe it said the damage on... dealt is decreased because of the armor. I didn't read clearfully, but definitely. All right. This looks pretty drab on both of our versions in that cave. Yeah, Not I agree. Very exciting. But on the forest looks uh, quite nice. I'll wait here for you. Oh, yeah. That, that looks, it looks good in both versions. It does. 
It's got a nice look to it. Yeah, the the, ch the foliage is a little little blurry looking, but you know. Yeah, I mean, PSP not a ton of memory for things like that, so textures often took a hit. I think this is significantly more um, polished than the Castlevania remake-ish, you know, the Rondo remake. Oh, well, that's uh, interesting. Did see, you see I, that, I, by we... the way? They actually had that... Here, they just had the extra life hanging out in the cave. Yeah. You actually had, like, a little piece of the base to destroy, plus that huge yeah. cannon. Yeah, there's some nice details here. And look, that cannon actually has, like, a shadow. I mean, I'm sure You're it's right. just faked, but it looks that's good. Cool. It does look good. All right. Uh, I mean, I, I, I know that Rondo is only uh, 30 frames per second on PSP, yeah. but I, I we, we should definitely... We should do that, that one as well. Sometime. I like that one. I, I think I it's like cool. It. But yeah, I wish it was 60. And the fact that it kind of looks worse than <laughs> Mega Man X here, I always was baffled that it was only 30. Mm. It also looks worse to me than the printy games. Whoops. I, I have not played those. Oh, those are excellent. I've They put so them those on are Switch as well. I, I've always been afraid of anything Disgaea. <laughs> oh yeah, those are, those are hardcore uh, platform games. Okay, okay. They're quite well, I might brutal. be into those then. They made uh, they released them on Switch. Here. Man, I have got to slow down like crazy here. Oh man, it's so slow. <laughs> got it. Got to overclock. Get that 333 megahertz. Now this is just a stock PSP. No, no soft hacks. No, uh, no nothing. I always run with the overclock because why not? It fixes issues I... in games. All right, into the gate. Alright, here we go. I, do, we, I, do we have a weapon for him? Ah, uh, the I fire? Really, I, I don't think remember. fire is chill penguin. Uh, oh yeah, probably. I'll try it anyway. I don't think yeah, it's Yeah, I don't I don't think we got anything for him. Oh uh, now they're gonna do like a an interesting uh cloaking effect for him. Yeah, you know, it's just a, this isn't great, but so Sigma's even managed to pull you into his scheme. He's he's surprised every time. He's like, oh, Sigma's managed to pull even you into his scheme. I don't want to live in a world with him in charge. All right, let's see here. Oh, let's see. see Not you too, Chameleon. No. <laughs> It's it's an interesting effect that they have for his. Uh, I mean, it just it just seems to like shift the. I, I'm not really sure how they're doing it though, but it just shifts the background a little bit. But it looks uh, it looks good. Oh man, I died. I'm probably gonna die here in a second. Oh, your effect is actually really cool too. It is extremely good. I'll, I'll try one of the powers, but I don't think he's weak oh, to any of these. I'm down. Yeah, wow, that background looks great on PSP, I'd say. I'll just get that sort of reactor behind it with the mm. yellow glow. That's, uh, that's pretty neat. You know, unfortunately, we haven't really been able to use the boss weaknesses, but uh, I, I want to say it was this game that kind of started bosses having like obvious reactions to their weaknesses yeah that's right it, it wasn't just like the amount of life that was drained right it was like mm -hmm. actually you could tell that they were weak to it right and you know i've always like had mixed feelings about that like part of it's like oh it should just be stronger because like it they are often so weak to it that it it almost makes it too easy at times yeah uh in fact, some I can't even think of what, of an ex, of a specific example of this, but some uh, in some games like it can actually like completely change how a certain boss fights. Like yeah, uh, like I want to say like if you use something on like the moth and X four or would that be X two? I'm drawing a blank, but I want to say like it just like completely changes the. Fight, if I'm remembering right, 
Like, like some enemies, like, completely lose their, like, signature offensive or defensive capability. Oh, that's enough of this stage. Yeah, probably so. All right. Well, I kind of feel like we've seen a good amount of the game at this point. Yeah. So, you know, it's just something we wanted to revisit briefly. Uh, well, within about an hour or so. Not quite, but... Um, I mean, by and large, looking at what they did, I think this was a really cool release. And this was a period when I think Capcom really got Mega Man right again. Yeah. Because the early, the PS2 stuff was okay, but I feel like it never really got into a groove. But uh, this this game and then Mega Man Powered Up slash Rockman Rockman, I think was also <laughs> fantastic. Is that really what it's called in Japan? Rockman Rockman? Yeah. Oh, that's it's fantastic. Called Rockman Rockman. I... I love that game. Like it is just it's, so it's, it's really good. Charming. It's, it really it's is. It's so silly. Beautiful, fun, crazy little game. And I'm so bummed that we didn't get the equivalent for Mega Man 2. Mm. Because I think it would have happened if it had succeeded enough. Yeah. But sadly it was not to be, and this is all we got, but I still think it was worth it. And uh this is a great version of Mega Man X. It's better than the DOS version. It's better than the iPhone version, which was uh, the mobile version, which, by the way, if you've not seen the mobile version, do check it out. It's extremely offensive. Uh, <laughs> it's interesting, but I I've think never played gonna... the Game Boy Color version. Oh, those are interesting, but pretty different, I'd say. Yeah. It's still pretty impressive given the hardware. Yeah. But I think that's going to do it for this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed us like, once again, bumbling around inside of a game and uh, trying to compare the two. And if you did, be sure to let us know. And uh, I guess we'll see you next time. And if you made it this far, say in the comments, Sigma forever. Mm -hmm.